Good. What's up, Greg? What's up, guys? How are you doing? What are we doing here? Beauty lifetime. <laughs> My beard okay? It's a shiner look on camera. Awesome. And your name? <laughs> this is Lucas Nogueira. Welcome to the gym. Welcome to Open Gym. Welcome to the Open Gym. So this right here is Open Gym. Just add a little flair to it. This right here. And this right here is Open Gym. Got to pronounce the eight on my right ears. <laughs> it's LA. Right here. <laughs> Tell me again, because I don't remember. <laughs> Shh. Welcome to Open Gym. Try with you. Yo, every time I say open, I swear <laughs> I spit. I don't know if I always do that, and it's just I see the lights is. <laughs> <laughs> este es Gravy Vázquez y bienvenido al al no. Jim. Hold on, hold on. I don't know how I can say that. You're doing good. I know I, I'm surprised. <laughs> This is uncut <laughs> Chuck <laughs> going on in here. This is <laughs> open gym. Check this out. Put this on the intro. <laughs> Man, y'all got so much me cussing. Y'all could ruin my career if y'all wanted to. First of all, G Coat, Northside, A Town, Open Gym. You better believe it. 10. <laughs> Man, it feels good. Uh, I've never been a part of something like this as far as having cameras false around everywhere, uh, whether it's on the road, whether it's at home, whether it's in the arena or outside of the arena. Just giving the fans a different perspective of, you know, an NBA player's lifestyle. You know, letting them know that we're not only basketball players, but we have different type of personalities. We have different type of, you know, characteristics that we can share with the world. And I think it's a great thing that, you know, we have this opportunity and the fans get to see it and they get to embrace us and indulge with what we're doing every day. Pet person, white squad, hashtag white squad, hashtag pet person, hashtag cute person, hashtag my... <laughs> It's pretty unique, you know, to have a show like Open Gym because uh, our fans have access to, to, to their team and uh, obviously to the players and what we do day to day. Um, so they see how hard we worked and, and the things that we do off the court. So it's pretty cool to me. It's, it's, it's a unique idea, and you know that makes us unique as a team, as a, as a franchise. Man, I'm a fan of it myself. So you know, it's always good to tune in and see what um, the highlights you might have missed or or the plays that that you wanted to check back again. Man, you can't find on YouTube. Here's James Johnson explodes. Oh, man. got to be kidding me. That was nasty, right? <laughs> I cocked that joint back and banged on it. I think it's exciting for the fans to give them an opportunity to see um, how much work and um, how much of a process it is to get prepared for NBA season. Eight, nine, ten. Easy. Easy. I can't do much. I could do more, but... Yeah, yeah, you're playing tonight. I'm playing tonight. I get that. I get that. Uh, honestly, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty cool, man. You know, and it's just something for when I, you know, I'm done playing, and I can look back and and remember these times, and because it, you know, you guys get the the everyday access, you get all access to us flying, hotel rooms, traveling, games, you know, after games, you know, wins, losses, and it's true life stuff. Let me record Kev. Coming up. What's up, with Jim? My man Jamar Jones on the camera. We in here, you know what I'm saying? This is a new job, since he's sitting on the bench in the back all day. Hey, man, it's cool. That's a new job. Hey, cameraman, you know, interview, man. What do you do? She's still my cousin. <laughs> I think it's amazing to get fans insight on us, not just as basketball players, but get to understand our personality, what we do outside of basketball and outside, you know, the games that they watch on TV. You know, you really get to see something that's real and not scripted. We can't score, man. One thing you don't want to do as a coach is to make things feel like they're, um, you know, enacted or acted upon because the camera's on. I want to always be genuine. And one thing about Open Gym is the fact that you don't know, you never know when the camera's around, which is great. But ultimately, you, you kind of remember. And uh, but again, it, they, they're so good as far as being in the in the background and out of the way and 
and just being a, 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 you know, a fly on the wall that you kind of forget about them. So that's what makes the, the show very genuine and, and real. It's pretty cool. Kind of like reality TV. You look good, James. I saw you at Harry Rosen today. You look good, dude. You look good. <laughs> the best dress? I don't know. Everybody looks pretty on point today. I don't know. It's pretty uh, It's pretty universal. Everybody looks good. This group, have, they have like a certain swag, so I don't know what to expect with them, you know, but um, hopefully they all look good and uh, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what Jonas is wearing. Uh, Landry Field, Kyle. Um, uh, those those three will check them out. James Johnson has a low uh, low flair to him, so we'll see. Best dress is, is always between Amir and Gravis. You know, those two seem to go at it every single day. Uh, whether it's just coming in, you know, for practice and they're dressed up, or whether it's a game day outfit. So I think Gravis has got Amir a little bit uh, a little ahead of uh, Amir right now, but they tend to battle back and forth with uh, the nicest outfit, the nicest shoes. I think G. G looks pretty sharp, man. He got the all black on, and he had a haircut, too. Nice shoes. I think he got on Gucci shoes. It's all about the shoes, really, from there on. So I have to go Grievous. First of all, let's, can we talk about your purple shoes? Where did you get the purple shoes? Don't worry about it, man. No, 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 no. Look at my sweater. Is this a double? What do you think of my sweater? I think the sweater's cute, but your outfit's hard. <laughs> I'll have to go with Bebe. Bebe, for sure. Um, I don't know the look exactly what he was going for, but um, that's a uh, that's a fail. <laughs> that's a fail. I haven't seen Bebe yet. Where's I see him? Yeah, he kind of looks like a bouncer from here, but you know it's a rookie thing. Who knows? <laughs> Terrence, by far. Terrence, by far. Like you tell him to dress business casual. You tell him to wear a suit, to wear a hoodies and some Tim's. You know, I'm like, yo, did you wear a hoodie and Tim on your draft day when you got drafted? You know, or did you wear like a polo? You know, so if we're probably Terrence or, uh, no, I gotta go with Terrence. It's sad that he doesn't really dress up too much. A well, good dance on the team. As I look around, and I don't know if anybody wants to dance, but the guy that start dancing will be definitely, um, definitely me. I'll probably get, I have to say it myself. You know, I get my two step on. You know, that's all. I'll probably start it. I'll probably get a little two step on. Depends on how the night goes, which it should be a great night. So I'll say I'll start dancing. The best dancers. Jeez. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't. The only person I've seen dance is him. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say he is. Just socks and underwear around the house. So <laughs> you don't want to see that. A little Tom Cruise action, you know, with the with the with the button down too. Sometimes, you know, just sliding in. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't want to be the only one dancing, you know. But if I can get a few teammates to go out there on the dance floor with me, I'm sure I can get Landry out there, maybe Gravis, but. Yeah, you know, I can see a couple of us Raptors out there, you know, they throw on electric slide, uh, they throw on the wobble, you know, some type of dance where everyone can get involved. I can see a couple of us doing it. The rookie, Bruno, I don't know. I don't know if he can get the long seven wingspan and the legs to kind of get, get together and work. Probably Bruno. Jonas, big guy right there behind me. JV, you see him on the court? His footwork on the court is the exact same on the dance floor. You know, I give him credit. It's a lot better on the court, but on the dance floor, you can't move. You cannot move at all. No rhythm. You see how he start moving? <laughs> Dancing, it's probably going to be the young guys, because they're going to be the ones forced to dance. <laughs> Um, how much of uh, of o Canada can you say? I need to uh, 
I need somebody to help me out. I'll, I'll sing it somewhat, but I need y'all to like start it off for me though. Page? I can't go back. I'll start all. I'll start Don't all. be lazy. I'm being lazy. You got your phone right next to you. Wait, Just go to Instagram. Put my name on that thing. I already did. All you I'm gotta do service. is go to your phone, go to no Instagram. Service, get get out of here. The three phones you got don't have service. Yeah, exactly. Landry, two. Number two, Fields. Man. Anytime the fans get an inside look at kind of getting to know who we really are, um, you know, there's a lot more to us than just seeing us play uh, with the lights on on front of all the fans. Um, there's a lot more to us. We're just normal guys with pretty cool jobs. This right here has a college feel. So it's halfway through the season, and you know, on an off day, we want to get the guys to get some conditioning, especially the guys that, that didn't play a lot. So we'll do a lot of three-on-three, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. It's really important for the players to get out and play on the court. And the best, the best workout for them is actually play against themselves. We can do shooting drills all day, but uh, doing activities like this really help lighten the morale. And for the players that aren't playing, this gives them a chance to sort of get some game, game conditioning and game activity and game feel. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby! I'm back in on. Oh, hell no! They can't leave. You know, those can kind of turn into our game days where we get pretty psyched up to do that. We've been playing a lot of three on three. Um, we got a good group of guys that we can go hard at each other. Um, it's a pretty competitive group. So uh, it's it's I mean it's a lot of fun for us, but it is important for us to get our get our workout in, get just uh, part stay ready. If you not play, it's very important you stay activation because you never know when your coach go carry a number. So it's important to play two and two, three and three, and stay ready and you you work more in condition and practice. We got some good teams. We got uh, JJ um, and Bruno and, and uh, Steamer are going against T. Ross, Lucas, and Landry. And it's actually pretty evenly matched. Bruno's having a good time uh, guarding T. Ross, having fun with that. Landry's working hard. But they're going at each other, so it's a lot of fun. It's good to see them kind of have a lot of personality and, and talk amongst each other, so it's, it's good. If I was a fan, I would like to see raw, uncut, behind the scenes, everyday life of of ourselves and and what we actually go through and and how much work it takes to be in the position that we're in. I would really like to see um, that perspective opposed to you know just the glamorous side of everything. Okay, so now you come to the front and you would, you're going to buy two tickets. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be the cashier. Yes. What do you say? Uh, I would like two tickets for the movie. Um, Action James. 007. Oh, z oh, okay, perfect, okay. Oh, for, for James Bond, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, uh, which theater would you like to go to? Oh. Which theater do you want to go to? Aha, so there's different rooms, and they, they would ask you which theater. So, in number two, in 3D, in number three, no, no 3D. 3D. So do you want 3D? Yes. So you would say, I would like, like theater that? number two. Here's your glasses. So um, that will be $24, please. Uh, okay. Again? <laughs> no okay. way. Again? No, no, no. Your, your turn. Oh, what's it? $24. $24. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 
25. So let's, all right, here's your tickets. That's 24. And one more coin. No, no, no. 25. No, no, no. Tip no, you can't, no, you can't, can't. They, at theaters, no tip. No. I know the tip. No. Okay, that's excellent. Myself, you know, I want to see more of me on Open Gym, <laughs> you know, but no, 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 really anything, you know, Open Gym's been doing such a great job, you know, I've learned a lot about my teammates that I didn't know previously, you know, Open Gym has different segments on, you know, different teammates and talking about their families and what they like to do off the course, so, of course, we're around each other all the time, you know, we hang out with each other, but sometimes we don't give up too, too much information, you know, but you watch Open Gym and you get to see a certain side of your teammates that you don't really see when you're with them. If I was a fan, I'd probably want to see more James Johnson on, on there. He's excited. I'm beating you, B. Oh, sh I'm not ready. I ain't ready. I ain't ready. Let's play. Uh, that's a bucket. What score? What score? My sir. What you talking about, Willis? Who else wants some D-Bo? How did you want? How did you want to want some? Who wants some D-Bo? Oh, man. God, I can't play. Bro, I just scored th two times in a row, G. Nine four. Nine four. Nine four, B. Nine four. Nine four. Man, you can't, you can't have your right-hand man on the scoreboard, B. Can't have that man on the scoreboard, B. Just got done dusting these dudes off in some ping pong. <laughs> I like to say I'm the man. <laughs> I don't want you to think I cheated, so I need you to look. I got, what, both corners? Huh? I got your favorite color in there, you know? Red, and I got purple. Ooh, I'm on Toronto. <laughs> oh, man, I'm cold. And I helped you out, brother. Bro, you can't make my ball. I can do whatever I want to. <laughs> I'm, stri I'm striped, right? Yeah. All right, corner ball. Okay, fine. Cool, quarter pocket. Can you dismiss on, uh, on camera? This, I know he does not have his name on the. Yeah, he do. Okay. There ain't no Kalo Ken dunk. I actually seen that on the highlight tape. He, he, he wasn't on that high. Right now. Wait, let me hit six. Whatever. In the corner, I'm gonna skip by your ball. No, you're not, bro. How you gonna cheat, bro? You know you ain't gonna do that. Just go for this. I know. I'm gonna do this, bro. Bro. Yeah. Man. Oh well, you ain't got no shot. I just said him up. There's my number. <laughs> Yo, bro, we're getting in. Your silence. Oh snap! I just lost the game. <laughs> Why you do that? What? Oh, I'm tripping. No, that heck no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was this one right? Oh, inside. It was this one right? No, son, you put it in the stripe. You have to say it like the dudes in the previously. <laughs> like that. I can sell it. Yeah, do it, do it. Previously on Open Gym. <laughs> That's how they say it. Hey, you go yeah. I, I've done the Swiffer commercials, man. I can do it. <laughs> Deeper? I'll do it one. Previously on Open Gym. I was in the scrum, I'm right in here. I'm waiting for it to pop off. Hey, Chuck, 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 hey, well, it's very important because that's what we are about as family, whether it's my children, uh, my size kids, uh, Kyle Lowry's child, his son, uh, it doesn't matter. We're all a family, and that's a big part of our, our chemistry, our camaraderie, and uh, to be able to share that with the world is, is great because that's what we stand for, and, and that's why we're all in. I think just to just to see how how much of a family we are you know just to see uh see our, our guys interacting with their kids and uh interacting together 
with their families and mothers when we go in uh, the different states and uh, go to our hometowns and just to see where we grew up or, or what we do or what, what was it like where we grew up. And, uh, I think that's, that's, that's priceless. Team. You know, a lot of people have kids and, and families, and, you know, we all grow as men and individuals, so it's, it's pretty cool to have that happening and also having people, you know, film it while it's going on. And like I said, it's, it's an unbelievable uh, thing that we have an opportunity to have a, a crew follow us around and uh, show the growth of our families and our, our friendships and, and our trials and tribulations of life. Do me face the camera. Do me face. Do me face. Do me face. It means a lot, you know, it's something that's personal. And for us to share that is definitely amazing, but it gave us, you know, a chance years from now to be able to show my daughter, you know, how it was when her father was growing up and what Cal, his son, get to see, you know, every step of the way when they get older, older and that's what it's all about. What was it like your first day here and then all of a sudden there's cameras following you guys? Yeah, I thought it was weird because they were all in the Suburban. Uh, like dead shots smacking the face. But it, it's a great process, it's a great thought. Uh, it means well and I'm happy to be a part of it. I mean, I, I think, you know, Open Gym has just done a great job. You know, um, you know, anything pretty much goals, you know, when we're just on the road or we're doing stuff, you know, you guys pretty much catch it on camera, so whatever you guys catch, you know, if it's just, if it's showable, we can show it. If it's not, <laughs> cut. Big win? Big win? What? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really big win, man. Play good, man. Hell yeah, son. Like a serious scene, or is it a happy thing? What do you, what's the music thing going to be in the background? Question, like? Next week on Open Gym. I'm spitting up. Hold on. <laughs> Next week. Next week. On Open Gym. On Open Gym. One more. Next week on Open Gym. Next week on Open Gym. We don't know. Hala, hala, hala. Hala, hala, hala. We don't know. Beautiful. We're good.